come back to uh, yeah, Marie's room. Well, I mean, welcome to Marie's room, but we're just gonna go ahead and start. Stereotypical YouTuber intro because lack of creativity at the moment. So I didn't want to come back. Why would I? After all that's happened, even in here. Fair. So, where is the journal? Why is the? Oh, so this is a free game. <clears throat> so don't don't be quick too too quick to judge it. All right. But I was just gonna be like, huh? My first reaction was we're in a moving building. But we're not. You're jumping? I don't want to go back down. Okay, well, we won't then. Let's start with... Oh, it's just hold the zoom. Weather forecast. Oh, that's cool. What, do you have, like, a little tablet or something? No, that's her parents' room. I don't know. Hello, kittens. Hi, Bumblebee. Oh, this is a really pretty room. I know, I know. You want to go out here, but like... California crisp white wines. Mm. I'll need a crate of those when I get out of here. Yeah, sure. Go for it. You do what you want to. Is that me? Oh my god, the hair. What was I thinking? Hold on, I'm gonna change something real quick. I don't know if I can remap the... I can't remap it, it's okay. I was just trying to fix crouch to be my mouse button, which is the way I have everything. Look, Mr. Torres. I'm happy he finally got remarried. A honeymoon in the Bahamas. Mm. Wish I was there with them. Yeah, that sounds nice. Don't need to go in there. That's the bathroom. Okay. Well, I'm just trying to explore. I don't know what you're allowing me to do and what you're not. I know that's the journal, but I'm looking around. Alright. Uh, what's this? Of course I knew it was her. Who else? There's only one thing to do. Get to Marie. Okay. <coughs> Hi, Kelsey. Oh, cool. Yes, I'm talking to you. Nice. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. You are my friend, and I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you, and I stood up to him because of you. But you, I don't know. Right now, I can't be near you, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be all right. Marie. Except she wouldn't be. She would not be all right. Oh, we have more to interact with. Yeah, we definitely have more to interact with. Are you going to say I, you don't need to leave? Uh, okay. Hotel? Take out menu. Every Tuesday, the food trucks would roll in. Me and Marie never missed Jorge's tamales. When I was a kid, Jorge would put some aside, just in case my mom was too drunk to feed me again. Yeah. Mr. Torres gave me my own set of keys, so Oops. I'd feel at home. I loved him for it. But every time I used those keys, I felt a pang of guilt. Hold on, let me just 
Turn this down. Just in case. In fact, I can probably... There we go. I couldn't afford a car, and Marie didn't want one, so we rode our bikes everywhere. I thought I looked silly, and with those damn sparkly shoes, I probably did. Yeah, I was losing my glamour status at school right there. Food rescue. Yeah, it was a good place to be, until Marie showed up. I know she didn't mean anything by it, but the pity in her eyes... Worse than being hungry. Why would you be upset for somebody for being sad? That's... The Green Eatery. Green as in with fungus. Yes, I am never eating Ayurvedic lasagna ever again. But some people must have liked Mr. Jones's cooking because he was out every night cooking his green stuff. True, yeah. Was there anything else? No, it was just a name badge. Okay. Shopping bag. She loved being a birthday girl. Mr. Torres would take her shopping every year. Mr. Torres. Okay. Paying for those sweets. That's Trevor's phone number. He called her. I know he blamed her for everything, though she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. I need to find the key. Okay. A five-figure number. Open. She must have written it down. Yeah, that's what I figured. She probably has it written down somewhere. We'll get to it eventually she if we just me, scan through everything. Don't you ever dream, Kelsey? And I said, I don't. I don't dream. I plan. True. What I didn't tell her was that I wouldn't allow anyone to mess with those plans. Oh, it sounds like you're the bad person here. Yeah, I don't forgive you either. Have you ever peeled an orange so juicy the drops erupted from underneath its skin like fireworks in the setting sun? The trees in Mr. Jones's garden had them. I used to live off his garden vegetables and fruit before I met Trevor. So many just random names without context. Ah, it's crouching still. Okay, that would do it. I'm not a shadow person. Yeah, it took me all I had to convince her she wasn't. He had money, you see? He bought me things. I was gonna wear these to the prom. Fancy, right? No, not really. At the time, I didn't know where the money came from. Okay. She asked me why I was so angry all the time, and I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The cards I'd been dealt, any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie? My friend Marie. She got me a new deck and suggested I deal again. Hmm. There's no such thing as food waste. And don't I know it. The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever and the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what it took. Sounds like you're a bad person. I mean, it seems like you've done things that you believe to be wrong and are angry at somebody else for it, which is... Disgusting, but... Yeah, exactly. Cheap. I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. <clears throat> The 
vicious taste of these meatballs still beat the humiliation of being served by Marie. Mmm, hot take. I think Marie's better than you. I know that's, like, super early for me to say, but, like, all I get is that it was sad eyes and you feel like you've had a rough life and need to take it out on other people when it's not as bad as you think it is and I don't think that's really okay for you to do but it's your actions your choice a lot. not to protect my eyes but to hide them I didn't want anyone to know you didn't want anybody to know that you've been crying after being mean to other people sorry I'm being Oh, final records. Okay, that's not bad. But like, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, man. Poor kitten. Shame there's no kitten. I'm glad you're gonna just leave the orange fields on there. That's great. Um. I'm okay, so the code will be in here when we look. Ah, uh, you know what? We'll put the audio up. It's okay. Ah, uh, it's fine. If somebody wants to claim the video, they will. I'm not too Marie worried about that. I'd rather enjoy it than the going to experience. I don't think she ever went. La La Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. Great. Glad Trevor snuck us in. I don't think I could have handled wasting 20 bucks on that. Never thought I'd see Marie there. Then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she loved it. Oh, you she feel... I realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. You sound like a terrible person. I don't know. There's just something about the tone, the pattern of speak speech just I didn't want to be her friend in public what kind of rude disrespectful person says this kind of stuff maybe there's something that I don't know about Marie but I don't know I'm rooting for Marie it's just I am so Lorraine Marie's mom died when she was five my mother she might as well have been dead she looked more dead than alive anyhow Passed out on the couch, empty bottles of gin on the floor. Uh -huh. So you're angry at your own life and are choosing... Oh man, that's the worst kind of people. Damn, what's the password again? I need to find it. Kitty! Open! Yeah. Why does someone need to get hurt before we step up and act, for Christ's sake? If they had, none of this shit would have happened, and no one would have died. Okay, let's see. Harassment by fellow student. Student. So Re is in box. So this is a response. So this is hi Marie. It grieves me to hear that you f that this is how you feel. But I'm afraid there's not much I can do at this stage. Oh no! Why didn't you tell me, Marie? No wonder you were so frightened. We never should have gone to the Orange Grove. At least you feel bad about it. That's all I'm going to say. You should feel bad about it. I am sorry for being super harsh. But Marie has a picture of a freaking cat. That's her profile picture. I don't know. Alright. People who like those little tiny cute animals. This is getting me. 
oh boy, all sorts of levels of angry. <laughs> At the person I'm playing as. One day, I just had to know, what's up with all the cats? Yeah. She said she admired them, that they were who they were without any pretense, that they had no fear of confrontation. She wanted to be more like them. Me too! I want to be like a kitty! Oh, Maria, I, I totally feel for you. I feel like you've been harassed and treated poorly. Oh, this is like my person. Oh, this is this is like a person I would ask to be my friend and spend more time with. This is just a great. When Bumblebee went missing, Marie cried for days. She thought I couldn't hear her at night. I could never prove it, but I'm sure it was Trevor. Yeah, well, I would be missing if my cat went away too, and somebody steals a cat from somebody steals your pet ooh angry feelings ooh angry emotions ooh they are big old poopy faces all right marie what were you thinking you know that's illegal <laughs> guns aren't illegal I mean, I hate, I don't, I don't like guns. I don't like the concept of threatening somebody or being hostile, but yeah, there's different methods. Marie chose the wrong method. I'm not saying right or wrong, but looking at and browsing, this is probably not the best option. Can I highlight anything is except for kitty gif? Okay. Yeah. I don't think I have it written down anywhere, do I? No. Oh, that's so awesome. They just put, like, a filter over it. Oh, that's so amazing. Okay, okay, sorry. Turn on TV. Can I turn up the have volume? Have you seen this man? <laughs> I thought I was so lucky. An adoring boyfriend, free burgers from the kitchen he worked in, sparkly things he bought me. I thought if I took care of him, he'd take care of me, and we'd get out, just in case I didn't get that scholarship. I had no idea where the money came from. Have you seen this man? <laughs> yeah, I've seen him. Hated that thing. Chemistry holds no surprises. Love that. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Trevor was never far off, though. When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, I knew he was lurking in the shadows. So what's I never Trevor's told her, role? But I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the room. That's Marie's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy, for her pizza and movie party. All right, I might have been a little jealous. Okay, wait, 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 wait. What was the... What was the... Birth... When the date? Bumblebee went missing, Marie cried for days. Yeah. She thought I couldn't hear her at night. I could never prove it, but I'm sure it was Trevor. How sure? Ah, uh, yes. The science project. Of all people, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. Why is it? it? 
Mm. Chose to work my ass off. Okay. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. Oh, angry. Angry. Mr. Torres and Marie were robbed in their own house. Not long after we met at food rescue. He was stabbed. Almost died. She was knocked out with a baseball bat. She was in the hospital for a while. Stitches, concussion. She still had headaches, she said. So why are you treating her like a bad person? She hated my cigarettes. Every time I felt like going out and buying a pack, she made me put the money in that money jar. One day, that money would pay for our gas to drive to college. We only needed money for the one way. I ended up using it to get to Vancouver. I didn't like that she kept the stone. Why did she have to be reminded? I told her I was sorry, but she said it was for me to remind me. Marie insisted on saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. Whatever that was supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. It's called recycling. What do you mean by building something? Um, okay. What about these boxes up here? That I might not have been able to reach. Okay, so the only dates we have sometimes it got so hot this thing wasn't doing it anymore then we'd take off to mr jones's swimming pool that night i guess he must have seen us okay so what we know um is the birthday and the cat missing date So, um, let's, where, where could, where could we find this, right? We don't know what this is. I need to find the key, a five figure number. Okay. So. If it's not there, maybe it's in here from all the notes we took? Let's, let's give it a shot, right? Let's see, we've got... Three. Because that's big. So maybe it's three, four, nine, five. Okay. Let's, let's do those and then try from there. I need to find the key. A five figure number. Wrong combination. Crap. I really want to know what's in that case. Yay! Oh, cool. That works. Good work, <laughs> Kelsey. Oh my god. Great. The past, like the future, is indefinite uh. and exists only as a spectrum of possibilities. Stephen Hawkins said that. I wish it were true. 
Why can't it but be true? There was nothing I could do about the past. Mm, it was yeah. definite okay. as hell. Sometimes I didn't get Marie. I really thought a night by Jones's pool would help her relax. She used to love it there. But she insisted someone had been watching us. I just wanted to have a good time, and she was ruining it, so I said some things I shouldn't have. She just stood there, staring at the window. I was so annoyed. And that's when I knew she'd been right. Trevor. Right there in the room. He'd just come in through the open window. How did he find us? He didn't know where Marie and I lived. I always made sure of that. Not but he really. took an orange from his backpack and started peeling it. It had been Trevor by the pool, and he'd followed us home. He said to Marie, I told you not to mess with me, but still, I didn't get it. No, it wasn't until he started moving in on her that I realized it was Marie. He was after Marie. He blamed her for everything, and he had a knife. I'd never seen him so angry, so evil. Marie tried to get it away from him. He asked her why she never answered her phone. Did she not read her emails? Or did she think they were hollow threats? God, I just wanted to punch him with anything I could lay my hands on. My backpack. I smashed it against his wrist, knocking the knife out of his hands. Marie went for it, but Trevor was faster. He kicked her in the head. I dove for the knife, but he jumped me. As we struggled, he hissed. Didn't I get enough action yet? Maybe I needed another baseball bat to get my kicks. I stopped, because right then I knew what he was up to. He asked Marie about Mr. Torres. Was he all right? Did he still get stomach aches? Marie lay on the floor by the bed, in shock, realizing it had been Trevor who almost killed her father. Then Trevor looked at me added with a smile. And her. That's when it all went to pieces. Trevor ripped us apart, and he was enjoying it. Marie didn't understand. I tried to explain, apologized, but she wasn't listening. She kept asking me if I'd been there with Trevor in their house. Trevor stirred things up even more. He told her it was me who had hit her over the head with a baseball bat, that I'd enjoyed it. I screamed in frustration, no, that's not what happened. You sure? Tears streamed down Marie's face. She couldn't believe I would do that. Hurt her deliberately. I do. God, I wanted Trevor to stop talking. I attacked him, scratched his face, hit him wherever I could. I hated him. He was twisting everything. What's he? I wanted to tell her that I was sorry. Yes, we robbed the house. And we got caught by Mr. Torres. But okay. I never meant for anyone to get hurt. I didn't smash Marie's head. I panicked. I wanted to stop her from seeing me. When I realized how badly injured she was, I called the police. I tried to stay, but Trevor wouldn't let me. He pulled me by my hair into the van. But Marie wasn't listening. I was losing it, and I like to think I beat Trevor up pretty good. But Trevor punched back harder and faster. He was about to crack my skull. Marie clawed for the box beside her, opened it. She screamed, told us to stop, pointed that nine millimeter at us. Trevor went nuts, charged for her. She screamed, told him to stay back. She'd never shot a gun in her life. She wasn't going to start now. Trevor grabbed her by the shoulders and... Yep. Valid self-defense. What do you think you remember is not necessarily what really happened, or how others remember it. But Trevor fell back on the carpet, dead. That we all remember. Better have gone to the police right away. If you, if you don't, then it's considered murder. I mean, yes, it was self-defense, but you need to say it. I'll be down in a minute. Aunt Marie is getting a little worked up here. Oh, She's starting to smoke Marie. a cigar in your car. Don't let her. Don't let her smoke. I love that car. 
She knows you do. Get down here, Mom. You're taking, like, forever. I'll be down in a minute. Uh. Bring the journal. You don't want to go in. Don't need to go in there. That's the bathroom. And that was Marie's room. It was a, it was a nice experience. I don't know. It was a little rough. You know, it was it was a bit hard to handle, but it it was it did its best. It made a character I didn't like, which you notice. <laughs> um, I could tell something was off from the beginning, so that's good that I read that well, at least in my opinion. Um, yeah, having a boyfriend or a romantic partner that... You have to worry about following you home leads you to believe like leads me to think that you probably shouldn't have them in your life if you can't trust them alone in your room they shouldn't be your romantic partner right like he followed you home i mean yes that's a domestically abusive relationship it's an abusive relationship a toxic one physically abusive and as this doesn't ex accept you not going to the police and talking about <sighs> robbing someone and then knocking people out. If you tried to stay with her, make sure she was okay. Look, you, you just shouldn't have done it in the first place. I don't know what else to say, but I'm getting too worked up over this. I have more games I'm going to try and work on. So, I will talk with you guys later. Be safe. I care about you. Have a, have a good night. Bye now.